As God is God, by the prayers we are going to pray tonight, by the plea that we are going to make to heaven tonight, by our desperate cry for help, we are going to find relief. We are going to be delivered. We are going to begin to do that which we were not able to do before. We are going to be able to route out uh, the previous deep works of Satan, deep works that have made it difficult for us to attain that which should come to us very easily. We are coming against the works of darkness, the deep work of Satan. I, say, I keep saying it. I said, the deep work of Satan, you know, it's, 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 I gave an example of instances. Um, I spent 14 years in IT. And um, in those 14 years, what um, I've worked on a number of projects. And some of the projects I've worked on have been tagged as um, document management projects. Document management projects um, I, it's usually where the concept of the deep, deep um, is. When you talk about deep, deep um, instances um, such as when companies keep some documents in storage. A lot of companies have gone paperless now, so that means there's electronic records for information and um, it's not behoven for companies to keep things in paper formats anymore. But what still happens is that a lot of companies keep documents with third-party companies, uh, so not on company site. Is that either because there's a space problem or because... Um, or because it's leading to inefficiency of works, they haven't got a lot of room to move around, so they pay another company and then they keep their documents there. When they keep their documents there, the documents could either be in, in storage, which is where documents aged anything from zero to five years are, or they could be documents, uh, it could be deep storage, where documents age from the age of um, five years, above up until seven or eight or nine ten years and then the deep deep storage which is where documents the most ancient of archives are so when you have documents that are aged over 10 years they're kept in such deep deep when a document is in deep deep the sort of process you need to extract it out is different to that you would normally use to extract out a document that's just an ordinary storage and so when we refer to the deep works of Satan, that's also true. There are some prayers you can pray. There's some deliverance sessions you can go to. And very quickly and very instantly you get deliverance. But there are other instances whereby <laughs> you need to have prayed that prayer consistently like we did for the past 70 days. There are some prayers that would need that 70 days to be able to route out. And um, what would then happen is that if that's the case, um, then that's when prayers such as this are very necessary what we're doing tonight what we did yesterday for those of you that missed yesterday um uh, by all means go to the internet on my facebook page and you will see um them today we're dealing with the deep works of satan again soul captivity and as i said earlier to you um extraordinary problems now the initial section i'm going to deal with is when your battle is from the womb uh, I don't know how old people on this phone line are. I really don't want to know. I don't know how old people watching on Facebook are. And I really don't want to know. But however old you are, uh, there is one theme of commonality. The fact that we all started life from the womb. At the womb of our mothers. But whether we like it or not, uh, at the same time as our mother uh, took seed, at the same time as uh, the seed began to grow into an embryo, at the same time during gestation as the baby grows, at that time uh, forces that seek to capitalize on the life of the innocent or seek to penetrate into the life of the unborn, problems and spirits that grow with age, they often you like to use that time to actually enter into the life of that child and then life follow until such a child is born, um, birthed out, 
starts life and begins to grow. And what happens is that these become problems that have started from the womb. Um, those problems can be very deep. This is why we talk about deep works of Satan. That's an example of a deep work of Satan. When the problem has started from the womb, that is also the time of extraordinary problems. That is also the time of deep embeddedness. That's the time of soul captivity at its most vulnerable. A spirit won't come to you when you're born again Christian, fire talking, you know, kingdom of hell, killing. They won't come to you then and enter you then. No. A lot of the problems that are wrong with a lot of us now have started since we were children, since we were eggs, you know. So tonight's prayers are meant to open your eye that you discover the mystery behind the problems that started in your mother's womb. If you don't know the secret of your problems, if, if, if you do not know the secrets of your problems, especially problems that are defied all sorts of prayers, these particular type of prayers we're praying for now are special. They do what other prayers don't. They go to the root of the problem. Amen? Amen. Okay, so it's one minute to midnight. Let's cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus one more time. Put on the whole armor, spiritual, spiritual armor of God before we start to pray. Say, I put on the whole armor of God. I put on the whole armor of God. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. As I put on the whole armor of God, upon my chest I wear the breastplate of righteousness. Upon my waist I wear the belt of truth. In my right hand I hold the sword of the Spirit. In my left hand I hold the shield of faith. With which to deflect the fiery darts of the enemy. With which to deflect the fiery darts of the enemy. Upon my feet. Upon my feet. I put on the shoes of the gospel of peace. I put on the shoes of the gospel of peace. The shoes of my Lord Jesus Christ. The shoes of my Lord Jesus Christ. Upon my head. Upon my head. I wear the helmet of salvation. I wear the helmet of salvation. And upon all of these uh, weapons, uh, upon, upon this armor for battle, I also am laminated by the blood of Jesus. As I go into battle tonight, blood of Jesus, go ahead of me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's Amen. begin to thank God for the opportunity to be alive. Thank God for your parents. Thank God that you are alive. Thank God they didn't abort you. Thank God that you are alive. Thank God you are living, you're breathing. You know, there used to be a friend of mine many years ago. This girl tried to have an abortion. She took pills. The abortion didn't work. That boy ended up being born. You know? Till today, when I go, when I see him, when I see the boy, that is one boy who refused. There are some babies that will not be aborted. You don't know what your mother did before she gave birth to you. She may have drank something, but it didn't work. Thank God that you are alive. Thank your God that you are alive. Thank your God that you came to stay. Thank your God that you are still alive. Thank your God that the wiles of the devil did not work. Thank your God that the shenanigans of the devil did not work. Thank your God that the gates of hell did not prevail. Thank you, God, for life. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And now, confess your sins and the sins of your parents. Conf no matter how you hate your mother or hate your father, you, this is the prayer where you confess your sins and confess their own. It's not enough you confess. You confess your own, you confess their own. Some people's mothers are witches. Some people's fathers are witches occultic grandmasters right now as I pray I confess my sins I confess my mother's sins I say Lord have mercy I confess my sins I confess my father's sins I say Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy in Jesus name we have prayed 
Now, take these prayers loud and clear. Every mystery surrounding my birth, O oh God of divine revelations, reveal them unto me in the name of Jesus. Every mystery surrounding my birth, O oh God of divine revelations, reveal them unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, pregnancy is a mysterious time for a woman. There are some mothers... They have all, all kinds of weird dreams when pregnant. All types of mysteries are, are happening to them when pregnant. My grandmother once said to my father, he said, when a woman goes in for labor, it's a matter of life and death. Anything can happen. It's a very mysterious time in the makeup of a human being, particularly the woman. Let us repeat this prayer point. Please don't keep quiet. Every mystery, you know you were waiting for me before I joined this prayer line. Don't keep quiet, please. Every mystery surrounding my birth, O oh God of divine revelations, reveal them unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret surrounding my birth, O oh God of divine revelations, reveal them unto me. In the name of Jesus, reveal them unto me. Don't let any secret in my in, in of, of when I was surrounding my birth. Don't imprison me with a lack of knowledge, O oh God. Reveal to me the secret of my birth. Reveal to me the mystery of my birth. Show them to me by your divine revelation, O God. I too want to be informed. I too want to know what to do. I too want to know. Can you please pray? Every mystery surrounding my birth. O God of divine revelations, reveal them unto me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. O oh Lord, open unto me every secret that I need to know concerning my birth that has hindered my progress. My Father, my Father, open unto me every secret I need to know concerning my birth that has been hindering my progress in Jesus' name. Reveal to me that secret that has been hindering my progress, that secret that is locked away in the mystery of my birth. How did my mother conceive me? For what reason did my mother conceive me? How did she take in? What is the mystery of my birth? How did she carry me through? What experiences did she have during my pregnancy? What experiences did she have when giving birth to me? Reveal to me the secrets locked up when my mother was giving birth to me. Reveal to me the secrets hidden behind my birth. In Jesus' name we pray. Some people, their mother gave birth to them. And the birth position that the mother took as she gave birth to them is what she has used to furnish problems into their life. We expose them today in Jesus' name. Amen. The worst thing that can happen to anybody is to be cursed by a mother or be hated by a mother. The second worst thing is to be hated by a mother and then to be cursed by a mother. The third worst thing is to be hated by a mother, to be cursed by a mother, and then to be to have a mother who is spiritually aware. I'm not talking godly spiritually aware, I'm talking demonically spiritually aware. See, that is the kind of mother who can recount back how she gave birth to that child. If she gave birth to that child kneeling down, she can kneel back down and assume the birth position that she has used to birth that child, to curse that child. That's why some people are going through what they're going through. There are some women that gave birth on the hospital bed. Fine. At least you know what, you know what position your mother took then. There are some women that gave birth on the, in the farm. One leg, Sokoto, the other leg, Imo State. Standing, crouched. Shouting, screaming. Maybe there was help. Maybe there wasn't any help. Imagine a mother like that cursing a child with the birth position. So for deliverance to come, are you going to have to go and look for the forest where she did that? Or the farmland she gave birth on? Or to ask the animals, the chimpanzee and monkey and dog and kangaroo that was in the bush that day, say, what, how did she do it? 
Where are those that you can they talk? Can they talk? So when we talk about mysteries concerning birth, that's what we mean. Say, oh Lord, open unto me. Every secret I need to know concerning my birth. That has been hindering my progress. Reveal unto me. Come on. Open your mouth and say, reveal unto me. The secret behind how my mother gave birth to me. Some women did not even give birth. All they did was go to native doctor and want the child and want the child and want the child and want the child. Native doctor would disappear to the back to the back room. Come out with a child. Where, where, is the, where is this creature from? Some people would go to the river. They'll say go to the river at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. The mother goes there. There's a child by the river bank. She carries. Oh, my picking, my picking. What is she carrying? Fish or human being? Titus or human being? Mackerel or human being? What is that woman carrying? You saw a child by the river bank. You, you carried the child. What for? Whose child? How did he get there? Get in there. There's there maybe somebody on this phone. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Some people went to Iroko 3. Went to Iroko 3 in the morning. Native doctor would say, go by the Iroko 3, 3 a.m. 3 a.m., there's a child crying. You too, you, you, the, the woman carries. Carries the child home. You know, you give the child breast milk. And you believe it's a human being sucking your breast? You give, you give, you give, you give something you found online in Iroko tree. You give the, the, the child milk to drink. When what the child needs is fertilizer and manure. Because the child is from wood, wood, wood. Fertilizer and manure is what they need, not milk. I told you tonight was going to be raw. I'm not going to apologize for it. These are secrets we need to know. The truth we know shall make us free. Amen. Open your mouth and say, every evil power. That has been waging war against my life from the womb and which has let, refused to let me go. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Every evil power that has been waging war against my life from the womb and which has refused to let me go. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Every deep rooted problem in my life that has its origin from my mother's womb be uprooted. In the name of Jesus Christ, be uprooted. Every deep rooted problem in my life that has its origin from my mother's womb, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. With the hands of fire, I uproot you. In the name of Jesus, I uproot you. By the blood of Jesus, I uproot you. With the right hand of God, which is power, I uproot you. Every deep rooted problem that came into my life, that originated from my mother's womb, be uprooted in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The divine purpose for which I, Sandra, was born into the world and into my family manifest and become fulfilled in my life in the name of Jesus. The reason I was born, the reason I was given birth to, the purpose for which I was created and into this world, manifest and become fulfilled in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Manifest and become fulfilled in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Manifest and become fulfilled in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Come on! You must be fulfilled, I must be fulfilled. The purpose for which I was created, the purpose for which I was born, the purpose for which I was created by God Ma manifest in Jesus name in Jesus name we pray every negative prophecies regarding my birth which is still affecting my life presently 
I cancel them by the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Every evil word spoken against my pregnancy. Because when your mother was pregnant with you, you don't know who she fought. You don't know which love rival cursed her. You don't know which of her aunties and uncles looks at her, looked at her in that pregnant state and said what they said. You don't know the kind of battle she was fighting when she was pregnant of you. But perchance an evil word was spoken against that pregnancy, which was you whilst, it was your, whilst you were in your mother's womb. That's why we're taking this prayer. So please put your back into it. Repeat after me loud and clear, please. Every evil word Spoken against my pregnancy when I was in my mother's womb. Backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Every evil word spoken against my pregnancy. Whilst I, Sandra, was in my mother's womb, backfire in the mighty name of Jesus, backfire in the mighty name of Jesus, backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every rearrangement of my destiny from the womb be reversed in the name of Jesus. 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 Every rearrangement of my destiny from the womb. Be reversed in the name of Jesus. Be reversed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every heart struggle of my parents that wants to repeat itself in my life. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Any problem in my mother's life, in my father's life, that wish to replicate in my life now, you are a liar. I stop you before you stop me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Every battle, every battle raised raging against my life as a result of my foundation. Your end has come. Expire in the name of Jesus. Expire in the mighty 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 name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every name given to me from birth that has been the source of any problem in my life be erased. By the blood of Jesus 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 be erased. In Jesus' name we pray. Open unto me, O Lord. Today, your book of remembrance in Jesus' name. Open unto me me, O Lord, your book of remembrance today in Jesus' name. Open unto me, open unto me your book of remembrance. Remember me for good. Remember me for good, O God. It is my turn to be blessed, O Jesus. Remember me for good, I beseech you. Remember me for good in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every pollution previously in my mother's womb that has molded into my bones. Hey! Die in the name of Jesus. Every pollution previously in my mother's womb molded into my bones. Die in the name of Jesus. Every pollution from my mother's womb that has molded into my bones. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Oh God, arise. And destroy every evil flow. From my parents into my life. On the day of my conception. Oh God, arise and destroy every evil flow from my parents, every satanic transference on my life on the day of my conception. Destroy every evil transfer. Destroy every evil transfer. Destroy every evil transfer. Destroy every evil transfer. In Jesus' name we pray. I doors of my father's house that joined the blood of my father to form me be washed away by the blood of Jesus come on be washed away by the blood of Jesus I those of my mother's house I those of my father's house that joined the blood of my father to form me that joined the blood of my mother to in the womb that joined the water of my mother's womb to form me be washed away by the blood of Jesus come on pray that prayer in Jesus name we pray the idol of my mother's house that joined the water of my mother's womb to form me be washed away by the blood of Jesus 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 in Jesus name we pray previous sexual partners of my parents that transferred their evil load into my life on the day of my conception can you imagine some people here their fathers already had relations with with, with somebody from the marine kingdom before their mother came along and there were deposits from that child of the devil that queen of the coast lying incubating waiting for this man to now meet the wife that the woman that he should marry the man has finished his round with her found the woman of his dreams married the woman of the dreams married the woman that god has ordained for him they have sexual relations and that sexual relation ends up in that, that the child of that relation is you but unbeknown to you there's deposit from your mother or father's previous sexual partner things that have transferred from their life so your battle now is not mother side father side is previous sexual partners are you hearing what i'm saying yeah, yeah. is what i'm saying making sense yeah, yeah. it's deep i know but that's what this topic is deep works of satan uh -huh. these are not your usual day prayers and deliverances please if you have the opportunity to watch this video again on facebook watch it 10 times 20 times because you will excavate this spirit that I've been lying low in your system since. Amen? Amen. Repeat Amen. after me, please. Previous sexual partners, Previous sexual partners. Of, my parents of my parents that transferred their evil load into my life on the day of my conception, on the day my mother met my father sexually, Carry your evil load in the name of Jesus. Carry your evil load in the mighty name of Jesus. Previous sexual partners of my parents, carry your evil load from my life in the name of Jesus. Carry your evil load from my life in the name of Jesus. Carry your evil load from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Familiar spirits of my parents. That entered into my body, my soul, and my spirit on the day of my conception. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. 
evil assistance received from any evil power to aid my conception let me paint a picture for you we all know what Viagra is even if you are not taking it or you've never taken it before you've heard enough in the news about it to know what it does it's supposed to be able to help a man uh, maintain sexual prowess in bed you know anything that the white man has black man must have his own now so you can imagine somebody went to a native doctor for native Viagra. Oh my God. <laughs> native Viagra. That's even putting it posh for concoction, for agbo, for one of these dirty things they make from the back of trees. These hideously colored liquids they drink. You have received native Viagra gone to native doctor said your thing wasn't coming up anymore and so native doctor now gives you native his own version of viagra his satanic viagra to aid conception unbeknown to you whatever your father drank or mother drank bagam as soon as you came you entered entered you we are going to pray against native viagra right now amen, amen. say every evil assistance every evil received from any evil power to aid my conception lose your hold now in the name of jesus lose your hold from my life now in the name of jesus every evil assistance received from any evil power to aid my conception in the mighty name of jesus lose your hold upon my life now lose your hold lose your hold lose your hold lose your hold lose your hold, lose your hold. in jesus name we pray the consequences of divine laws secretly broken by my parents on the day of my conception that is affecting my life be nullified by the blood of Jesus the consequences of any divine laws secretly broken by my parents on the day of my conception that is affecting my life be nullified by the blood of Jesus be cancelled by the blood of Jesus be destroyed by the blood of Jesus in Jesus name we pray oh God arise and let the angels of God ordain to watch over me Let them rise to my favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. And let your power of mercy and favor release me from the captivity of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. By your divine ordination and manifest your power in my life now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and turn the bitter waters of my mother's womb that has entered into my life. Turn it into sweet waters. Turn it into sweet waters in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn it into sweet waters. Turn the bitter water of the amniotic sac of my mother. Where I was, turn it to sweet water. Turn it to sweet water. Let sweetness enter my life. Remove from my life bitterness. Remove from my life Mara. Remove from my life bitterness. Remove from my life Mara. Let my life be sweet, O oh God. Let my life be sweet. Enforce your divine order in my life, O oh God. Enforce your divine order. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Those were prayers for the deep works of Satan. Also, so it's it that that those prayers were really for everything, you know? Um, we're just going to pray one or two soul specific soul captivity prayers. And then we round up for tonight. Amen. Amen. 
Okay. Say, I wipe out, I wipe out any, trace of evil any trace of evil, current and anointing, current and anointing. passed into my body. Through an ungodly soul tie in the name of Jesus. I wipe out any any trace of evil. Current and anointing passed into my body through ungodly soul tie in Jesus' name. I wipe out any trace of evil. I wipe out any trace of satanic anointing passed into my body through the ungodly soul tie. In Jesus' name we pray. I undo every soul tie. Working against my life. I command any trace of my blood. In satanic altar. To flow out now. To flow out now. I undo every soul tie working against my life. I command any trace of my blood in satanic altars to flow out now. By the blood of Jesus flow out now. By the blood of Jesus, flow out now. In Jesus' name we pray. I refuse to be a slave to any ungodly soul tie. Soul tie slavery must die in my life today. Soul tie slavery must die in my life today. I refuse to be a slave to any ungodly soul tie. Soul tie slavery must die in my life today. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh Lord, drag me from the grip of evil soul tie. And reinforce all godly soul ties in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, build your altar of fire in the center of my life. And render any altar of slaughter. Controlling my soul. Powerless in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Rearrange my life. And speak peace and rest into my life. Father speak peace and rest into my life. Speak peace and rest into my life. Speak peace and rest into my life. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Let's give God the glory. Let's give God the praise. Because we have come to the end of this session. Let's bless him because of what he has done. Let's salute him for what he has continued to do. He's a good God. He's a great God. Celebrate this Jesus. He has no equal. Celebrate this Jesus. None compares to him. Celebrate this Jesus. He has, he, has, he has delivered us from soul ties. He has separated us from the attachment of the enemy. He has seen to it that we are not unequally yoked with the sons and daughters of, of, of the devil. Let's give God the glory. Let's give God the praise. For all that he has done, all that he, he, he will do. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Okay, so thank you all for listening. And um, see you next time. I'll send out notices um, as to when next uh, we're back to praying again. But uh, um, let's say the grace at this point. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore in jesus name we pray amen for surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen 
Three beautiful hallelujahs to bless the name of the living God. Let's go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. Let's bless the name of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Good night. You on Facebook? Thank you for watching. See you next time. I will be sending out the announcements. Hope you've enjoyed tonight. Please, please share the video. Please, please tell your friends about it. And uh, see to it that other people around you are getting delivered. Amen. Uh, let's give God the glory for what he has done. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm grateful. It is well. Bye-bye.